Gravitation with the observation. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. Hey, I see my boy Bad Wizzle. You feel me? He's on the Art of Dialogue. Um, I'm already a fan of art. You feel me? When we talking about the Art of Dialogue. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to go ahead and tap in with this. This subject right here. You feel me? I want to see what he talk about. You know what I'm saying? But this Bow Wow. Let's go. I'm off the gravitate, so it's time to observate. Let's get it done. Let's go. Hold on. Speaking of Amorion, right, y'all had an album together. And I remember it was something y'all was doing on BET. And I think you went off on the guy, Tori. Because I think he was trying to prank you, and you went off on him. If you don't mind me asking, <laughs> then, um, was everything cool with you at that point when y'all was coming out with that album? I was on link. Hey, like, real... Real talk, though. I don't care what nobody say, bro. I mean, bro, I've been going at it with my relatives, right, about this. We came front, bro. That that bow that a Marion and Bow Wow, bro. He, bro, Bow Wow is a legend. Let's keep it all the way real. That, Let me hold you. <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm talking about, bro. But no, nah, Bow Wow did numbers, bro. I know it's his antics. He kind of remind me of the game. His antics and stuff kind of, like, kind of have him out of that, like, go talk in a sense, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he up there as far as like influencing, you feel me? Most of these rappers, let's be real, bro. They, you feel me? They got they, I ain't gonna say so much style, but you feel me? That was an inspiration at that time. You, you get what I'm saying? Especially the cast that was like uh, late 80s. You feel me? Excuse me. Like early 80s, just 80s period. You feel me? It's about, but let's go ahead and get to this. <clears throat> Sipping so much syrup, bro. And I, I, I said this too, like right after, right after Mac Miller had died, I, um, I spoke on that shit. Like I was, I was drinking that shit like crazy. Like if you go back and watch, it's called the Road to Platinum documentary series on BET. If you watch that, you'll notice, you'll see so many like white styrofoam cups and you'll see so many like Hawaiian punch bottles in the studio. I was losing my fucking mind. Like that lean shit got me up. Like, um, and this is why I want to react to this, um, because a couple of years back, right, I kind of was defending Bow, right, when this whole situation happened, but I never understood the story about like what actually took place. You feel me as far as this uh, lean consumption, right? But JD kind of downplayed it in a sense, like man, and it wasn't drinking this, doing that. I don't know if that was just damage control or PR business. I don't know. I wasn't quite sure. But I was mad because I'm like, JD, you wasn't with this man 24-7. So how can you say, like, you get what I'm saying? How do you know if this man was drinking or if this man was not, like, you know what I'm saying? So I was, like, lost on that. So I was defending Bow, but, I mean, actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's probably going to tell it right here. But, yeah, let's go back into it. He's irritated just one little thing I didn't like, like when Torre said what he said about, you know, and that was a joke too, come to find out. And I was like, what, Nick? Wait, what? Nick, what do you mean he ain't doing? Like, I'm wrong. Come on, oh, get up. We out. All that, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> I put that shit down back then. <laughs> Before you seen all these cats doing it, like, I'm telling you, like, it was times where I used to pull up on Wayne, like, yeah. And he, bro, what he, what he talking about, bro? You know what I'm saying? As far as, like, the opiates, you feel me? Like the opioids, opiates, like all that. Like, you feel me? I, I get where you coming from. You're not yourself. Your brain is not acting right, bro. You're not yourself. You sleepy. You, you and only reason why you only reason why you you grouchy, right? Is because you can't sleep. That's the only reason. You know what I'm saying? You need to lay down. You need to sleep that off. So you feel me? You into that? Like, what is that? Hydroclide or hydrolyte, whatever it is. I'm sorry if I'm messing it up, but. That's that's what make you, you feel me, like grouchy. So what he's talking about here, I'm aware of that. I've experienced that, so you feel me. He ain't lying about that. Yo, in New Orleans, I think we was doing something. They was shooting. I put up on Wayne. Wayne hit me up with, with a little baby bottle of my own. Like, take this. Go ahead. Blah, blah, take this with you. Like, we pulling up foes, deuces all day long. And, of course, you know, my man, my right-hand man was my hype man. He from Houston. You know what I mean? At the time, I had somebody from Ace Town running with me. So we always had. Is he talking about my boy? Man, I hope I ain't snitching on him. But is he talking about my boy Short Dog, a.k.a. Fresh? Because, you know, my boy Short Dog, you know, he pinned he, he pin a lot for Bow Wow. 
You know what I'm saying? My boy, he pinned a lot for Bow Wow. Um, but I think he go by Fresh now. Dope is... Everybody knows Short Dog. If y'all fan of Wayne, y'all know who Short Dog is. I'm not saying that's who he's talking about, but you feel me? I know they was around during that time, but... Like, no matter where we was at, we sipping. We go to Roof Chris. Y'all want any water? Nah, we straight. We straight. Y'all got some ice? We'll take some ice, though. <laughs> like, get hit on with some ice. Until, I, you know, I don't have, like, an addictive personality. So I'll never forget me and Chris was, we were on our tour. I was co-headlining with Brown. And the opening night was in Cincinnati. When I got off the stage, I collapsed. And I was like, hey, what the f and I, and, and I went straight to Cincinnati University Hospital. Reason being, just to let the people out there, I'm going to say, don't do it. You get what I'm saying? But I will be a fool to tell you, you feel me, when you first starting, like, bro, to bro, just don't touch it. You get what I'm saying? Don't touch it, period. But the reason why he collapsed, because he wasn't drinking water. Matter of fact, that's what anything you do. It's not even just lean. That's just anything you do. Any type, sort the sorts of food that we eat, you get what I'm saying? Drinking alcohol, whatever it is, you always need water to flush out, no matter what. You need water to flush it out, no matter what. It has to get flushed out. It's not even about lean consumption. It's just period. You know what I'm saying? You need to wash out those tux, uh, toxins. But I can almost guarantee you that's why he collapsed. You know what I'm saying? And ain't no telling what he was mixing it with. You feel me? I'm pretty sure he was off the Bob Marley. So... You know, you got to, you feel me? You got to hydrate yourself. And I know it's easier said than done because, you feel me, I barely even drink water like that, you know. So I get where people coming from. I mean, I, I kind of get where he was coming from at that time. I'm talking about at that time. That's what I meant. Let's go. <clears throat> Something was so f***ed up, so f***ed up that I end up going back home to Atlanta after the first show. So mind you, I miss Baltimore, I miss Chicago, and I miss Detroit. Like these is big Bow Wow markets, like huge markets. And I'm sitting in the hospital, not knowing what the f going on. And when I get back home, this sh gets worse. Like I'm throwing up, I'm having, I'm, I'm fucking shivering in the bed. I'm, I'm sweating, I'm, I'm going through it. I go to the hospital again, bro, this is summertime. I pull up to the Gwinnett Hospital here in Atlanta with like two hoodies on and sweats. You know how to get in Atlanta? Hot as a muff, hot as sh I'm fucking freezing, bro. Like I'm, like, like I'm cold as. F and what happened was I didn't know that I was having withdrawals. That's how much lean we was consuming. Like, and I had on my tour bus. I had a tour bus at the time, so you know we not we not even paying attention. I'm not paying attention. I'm doing this. Sh <laughs> like. You know, all the homies, we all just doing this. Shit. We be eating. I'm like, yo, tell me, stop scratching. Like, but this shit itching. Like, real lean sippers know when they see this, when they see this part, they like, that nigga ain't capping about that shit. Hell yeah, when you a real lean sipper, that shit, like, that shit be itching. Like, like it's coming out your pores type shit. And, um, and, you know, I had to get right, man. And, and, you know, uh, God rest her soul, I had the best publicist ever, Patty Webster. You know, she she ended up putting out a press release and, you know, I was home in Atlanta. I saw the news and the rapper Bow Wow uh, was hospitalized. And da -da -da. Meanwhile, I'm at home recovering and, you know, for dehydration. Well, no dehydration. I was I was up off lean. What I, <laughs> I mean, I I know that was the pup, but what I, you get what I'm saying? But what I tell you, I know that's what the publish that's what they put out there. You feel me during that time. But uh, honest, that really is it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? You got to make sure you hydrate yourself. That, you know. <clears throat> uh, so, you know, if you look at that that article up, it said dehydration. I was cat. You know, that's just good PR. We didn't want to let the world know that 18, 19 year old bow was, you know, heavy on the on the drink. But we was. We 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 was though. Wow, man. So that lean is really addictive. Yeah, because it's like, for me, you know, a lot of cats they pull up in the, in the soda. You know, for me, I always feel like it flattened the soda. And, you know, it's already sweet. So I'm like, I'm going with Hawaiian Punch. Wayne was the first person I seen with Hawaiian Punch. So I'm like, damn. So when I first did it, if you love Kool-Aid growing up, this shit, like Kool-Aid don't crack. Like this is like, God damn it. You don't want to drink nothing else fruity. It's like a fruity ass drink you can just sip on all day. And, and it never, the ice, you know, got to have crushed ice. You get the crushed ice, it's just, but man, my stomach was so f***ed up, bro. Like, 
it just felt like somebody had a knife, bro. And I never felt this type of pain ever in my life. But I didn't know that I was having withdrawals from this shit. Like my body needed it. But like I said, my mind, I, I don't have an addictive personality. We, I was consuming a lot, but I didn't know that my body needed it. That shit was the worst shit I ever went through in my life. Yeah, I heard on real withdrawals is something serious, man. So, okay, I take that. Now, uh, first of all, JD, I owe you an apology. I owe you an apology, bro, because now I can I can get I get where you probably coming from when you was addressing Bow Wow at that time. And I'm not I'm not trying to downplay Bow Wow experience, right? That's something that you experience. So I'm not trying to downplay Bow Wow. I'm not saying that he's lying and none of that. But at the same time, you putting tens on the two. And what I mean by that is, okay, you was consuming something, right? Okay, you was consuming something. And then you realize when you stop, like, oh, wait a minute. You feel me? Your body, you know, wasn't reacting right. I mean, excuse me, not reacting right. You feel me? You're, you know, your body was tripping, you know, dysfunctional, malfunction, all that. So... What you do, you realize like, oh, okay, well, let me put this down. Um, I'm going to be honest. To people out in the world, maybe I probably could be tripping, but that's like a spit in the face to people that are actually going through addiction. And that's people that's really like really heavy lean sippers or just messing with opiates, period. You just basically, to me, it was just a habit. It was a cool thing to do. That's like, put it like this. How I'm looking at this situation, that's like saying that the first time I ever drunk, the first time I ever had a drink with my peoples, right? And I get alcohol poison and I go on a press run saying that I was an alcoholic. I mean, that's how I'm looking at the situation. I could be tripping, but that's how I'm looking at the situation. I'm not discrediting what he's saying. What he's talking about is true. But one thing that didn't, didn't he didn't even talk about sleeping. Damn you, you feel me that you got the shivers and you cold. Like, everybody know you don't sleep when you withdraw. Everybody know that. You know what I'm saying? The attitudes. Like, yeah, you say, you feel me? You like, nah. But I, I get it. Like I say, it was more so, it was a habit. It wasn't so much a withdraw. I mean, it wasn't so much an addiction. It was a habit. And what I mean by, you was just used to doing it. Because it's the thing. When you cut it off, you cut it off. At least that's what I'm going off on this interview. Now, if you told me, like, oh, okay, bam, I cut it off, and then next week or whatever, when I pull it up on bam, I'm back to it again. Okay, yeah, that's in it. No, you just was having fun with it. That was just a habit. You enjoyed the habit. Like, you get what I'm saying? And, and that's, it's nothing wrong with that. But, yeah, like I say, bro, that, yeah, it's, yeah. It's some people that's actually, like, going out there, like, bro, that can't wake up without it. That's an addiction. That's dependency. Like, you get what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to say one person is bigger than the others. I don't want to make it <laughs> seem like that. But, yeah. I kind of get where I kind of get where JD coming from now when he was saying it. He wasn't saying so much like, Bow didn't, you feel me, wasn't said, but how the way you making it seem, like, you get what I'm saying? You wasn't, you know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's That's just my opinion, though. You feel me? I'm gravitation. Hey, shout out Bell, though. You feel me? Like I said, that's just my my observation. I'm off the gravitation. That's my observation. But gravitation with the observation, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. F lean, F all the opiates. You feel me? Opioids, though. Nobody touch it. I hope we throw all that shit in the garbage. Real talk. You feel me? Because it's hard to get away from it. Gravitation.